Hi guys! So I'm 29 weeks and 3 days today and this week I'm officially declaring the week of stretch marks. I have officially gotten more stretch marks <laughs> on my stomach which really sucks and I'll show them to you. They're not really that bad but they're gonna get bad because I'm only 29 weeks and that really sucks <laughs> but it's whatever. It's a part of pregnancy and I know they're just battle wounds. Um, I haven't gotten any more stretch marks on my boobs or on my butt or anywhere else in my body. It's just around my belly button, as always. And they they really aren't that bad. I don't know if you'll even be able to tell on camera. They're definitely there because I can see them. <laughs> this week I had my um, online baby shower on Saturday. And I just posted the video of that. So if you weren't there and didn't get to make it live, then go ahead and watch that. And it was so, so, so much fun. It was really a completely different experience than I've ever had in my entire life. It was really cool. And I got so much stuff for the nursery. Like, you have no idea. I I'm going to do a nursery tour pretty soon because we put together most of the nursery. We just have a little bit left to do. and But for the most part, it's all, it's like, pretty much put together. I just need the cribs now. And just like, um, a few things here and there. And also... I got the double stroller that I wanted. Yay! Um, well, I didn't actually expect to buy it, but I went to Baby's R Us and uh, we were just looking around for things. And this double stroller that I want was, I think it was, Gr I think it's Graco. I might be mistaken, but the the print is called Pippin. And um, we went. I went to go show my friend uh, which one I wanted, and I pointed it out to her, and there was like um, the the model, the on floor. The floor model wasn't there anymore, and um, they had a new one there, and then they had a few of, of the strollers that I wanted um, still there, but it said that it was on sale. So I asked, we went and asked the guy, we were like, um, well, do, do you still have the car seats for them? What is it? What's happening? Or whatever. And he said that it's been discontinued just because they came out with the new model. So the double stroller that I wanted was on sale for $87. So I was like, sold, and I bought it. I got the matching car seats with it also. So we got those for a really, 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 really good deal. So I'm going to try to put in a picture or something um, so you guys can see what that looks like. Symptoms this week. These kids are just insane. Um, Kaden is hilarious. When I'm sleeping, um, I'll lay down and... I just, I can't get comfortable in any position. If I'm sitting up, it hurts. If I'm laying on my right side, it hurts. If I'm laying on my left side, it hurts. It's just I'm always in pain. I'm always uncomfortable. And what's really funny though is when I lie on my, because uh, then you're supposed to lay on your left side most of the time. So I'll lay down on my left side and I'll be fine, but I'll get super uncomfortable sometimes. And I'll just like run out of breath, so I have to move positions. So um, I'll switch over to my right side. And every time I switch on to my right side, Caden starts freaking out. He starts like kicking and punching and rolling and stretching. And he's just like, get off of me, Kyson, get off. So I have to switch back to the other side. And then Caden's okay. Um, but then Kyson wakes up and he's like, what are you doing, Caden? Get off of me. <laughs> so they're just like so, it's just, oh my god. I need, like, I'm ready for them to be out already. I'm just so ready to be done. <laughs> Also, um, I don't know, I've, I've been really sick. I actually, today's the first day that my voice is actually like cl even close to normal. I, I don't know, I don't know if this is due to me being sick and coughing or if it's due to the fact that I'm just massively huge, but I'm pretty sure my ribs are bruised because anytime I breathe or move or do anything, I'm just like in excruciating pain on my ribs. So that's no fun at all. And also I have constant pressure on both of my hips. And um, especially when I sit down and I'm like sitting in a certain position, if I'm like a little bit twisted to my left, then I can feel Kyson's like head right on my hip bone. And if I'm twisted a little bit to the right, then I can feel Caden. I'm not really sure what position he's in, but I can feel Caden on um, my hip bone. Or maybe it's Kyson, I'm not sure. But either way, there's just constant pressure on my hip bones and constant pressure on my ribs. And my stomach is like as big as it is. If I feel like I can't grow anymore <laughs> and I'm, I look full term. Anyone that sees me that doesn't know me, they're like, oh, you're due pretty soon, huh? And I'm like, nope, I still got a long time. Also, I had my appointment on, what day was it? Tuesday? I think, yeah, it was on Tuesday. I, I think I talked about before how I have to meet with every single one of the doctors. Well, this doctor was better than the last doctor that I had to see, but he's still not as good as um, my main doctor that I really, really, really like. 
and he was just really quick again it was just really like in and out and um I guess usually with twins at this point according to him he said that um usually they would do ultrasounds every single two weeks but he went and he checked up my previous ultrasound and he was like you know everything just looks so perfect we don't need to see you for another two weeks so there's I'm gonna go four weeks in between the ultrasounds instead of two so my next ultrasound is scheduled for um February 9th, I think. Yeah, February 9th. And my next appointment is February 8th because I'm going every two weeks at this point. And my next appointment is with the doctor that I really, 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 really like. And I'm going to see, I'm going to ask him um, the chances of him getting to deliver the babies because that's what I'm really, really hoping for is for him because he's like amazing compared to all those other doctors. Also I made up my birth plan this week. A lot of people want me to do a video explaining all the stuff about it but I did make my birth plan and um, I'm planning on bringing it to all of the appointments to show all the different doctors and ask them their opinions on it and see what is um, likely to happen on there and what is maybe a little bit as asking too much or whatever. So, Also something else interesting that I came across this week is um I had heard a little bit about this before but not too much I never really like looked too much into it but there's something called placenta encapsulation I think that's how you say it and you basically eat your placenta <laughs> and there's like a million different ways to do it and I know it sounds absolutely disgusting but there's like a million benefits to it and I have I never like actually seriously looked into it but I think I'm gonna do it like <laughs> I'm really interested in doing it because it like boosts your um, it boosts your milk supply it significantly decreases your chance of getting postpartum depression um, it increases your energy it shortens your postpartum bleeding I mean it's just like a magic pill <laughs> that you're eating your placenta and it's really not that gross if you do the the pill ones because the the person who does it like you can do it yourself but I don't think I'm gonna do it myself they like bake it into like jerky basically and then they like shred it up and they put it into these little pills and you can't you can never taste it you can't taste it at all it's just like taking a pill but it has so many benefits because it's like your body it's made for your body so anyway I'm really interested in doing that and I contacted someone that does it around my area up in Sacramento which is about an hour away from where we live and I talked to her about it and she offers to do it for two hundred dollars which I think is a pretty uh, reasonable price so I really I really think I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna ask her about since I have two placentas or the babies had two placentas I'm gonna ask her if I should do both of them or just one of them or how that's gonna work. So anyway, I might like talk about that more when I find out more about it. I know it sounds really, really gross, but <laughs> it's like really cool and really interesting. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Oh, I was on the news last Saturday, like I said in my last video. So um, I can put a link to the um, my segment. I'll probably put it in the bottom bar. I'll put a link to it. And it was just talking about the baby shower that I just posted a video of. And also, um, my Bradley class this week, it went really good. And I'm really, like, really, really, really convinced that I want to do this whole thing natural. I've, I've decided that if I want, if I choose to get medication, I'm definitely not going to um, take any, like, during labor, I'm definitely not getting anything along the lines of, like, fentanyl, like I did with Lilia, or um, the things that they put in your IV. Uh, so if I choose to get a drug, I'm just going to get the epidural because from what I've read, and correct me if I'm wrong, and this is what my doctor told me too, from what I've read, there really isn't any effects on the baby from the epidural just because it goes into your spine. I really, really, really want to do this natural. Like, I think I can do it. So, and I know I say that now when I had an epidural with Lilia. So if I choose to do pain medication, I'm going to do epidural. But I really think I want to do this natural. <laughs> And the main thing that I'm scared about, like, I know for a fact uh, I could just work with my body and do, like, the whole labor natural. But what I'm scared about is, th is the transition from having baby A to baby B because I've seen the different ways that twins have to be born. And sometimes that requires, like, your doctor sticking his hand completely up inside of you to turn the baby. So that's, like, the only part that I'd be scared for um, pain-wise because I could, I know I could handle... The rest of it myself with all the techniques that I learned through the Bradley method but it's just the transit like if I was having a single baby then like no doubt I would just like do it natural <laughs> and I know that's really easy to say but I think I think a lot of you guys can understand where I'm coming from so anyway that's just where I stand at this point and um, also I've been having a million Braxton Hicks every single day and I asked my doctor about it and he said that it's completely normal so 
it's just normal like everything else in pregnancy, I guess. And he said just to kind of keep an eye on it, make sure they don't start hurting because um, since my uterus is obviously twice the size it would normally be, um, it might trick my body into thinking that I'm full term when I'm really not. So I think that's all for this week. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 29 week belly and my stretch marks. So here's with the shirt on. Here's with the shirt up. And then let's see if you guys can see them. There's some down here. This is for my pants right there. There's some right here and there's a few over here. Yeah, I don't think you can really see them on here. Right there. And there's some down here. And then that's the one that I had with Lilia. And there's also teeny, 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 tiny ones in between there. So they're really not that bad yet, but they will be. And like I said, this is for my, that's for my pants. They're just the ones right here. So let's see the other side. It looks like I'm at... Whoa, did you see that? That was a baby. <laughs> that was probably Caden. It looks like I'm just over 42. I don't think that's any different from last week. So, just over 42. Also, I bought bio oil. Um, I know it's probably not going to work, but at least I can say I tried it. Uh, I actually had a few people tell me that bio oil is like the only thing that helped for them. Obviously, you can't prevent anything now because I already got them. I decided I'd try it. Might as well. Um, I think that's all. So let me know if you have any questions. And if you don't have me on Facebook already, then go add me on Facebook because I update way more in there than I do anywhere else. So um, I'll put a link to that also. And other than that, I will talk to you guys for week 30. Ah, bye.